Okay, let's see. Well, um, unit four, we're going to talk about celebrations, okay? So first of all, um, what do you understand for the word celebration? What is a celebration for you? Or you can tell me examples of celebrations. It's about parties. About parties, okay. We can, I guess we can talk about parties, what else? Birthday. What? Bird. Birthday. Okay, birthday. Yes, yeah, it's a celebration also. Okay. Well, here we have uh, three questions. Number one says, uh, name some special holidays in this country. Let's think about special days that we celebrate here in Mexico. Can you tell me some ideas? Some special days that we celebrate here in Mexico. Mm, the day. Which one? Uh, how do you say Dia de Muertos? Ah, Day of the Dead. Okay, Day of the Dead. Yes, we have the Day of the Dead. Um, uh, more right here. Mother's Day. Yes, we have Mother's Day. Uh huh. Father's Day. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Father's Day. Yes, Father's Day. This Sunday. Grandma's Day. <laughs> Grandma's Day. Ah, Grandparents Day. Father's Day. Okay. Uh, second question. What other special days can you think of? Can you tell me more ideas? Other celebrations? Other special days? Hmm. How do you say bandera day? Ah, uh, flags day. Flag day. Yes, that's in February. Yes, February. Yes. More ideas, Jesus? Um, Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Christmas. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day also. <laughs> Okay, last question. This is personal. Uh, Damaris, what's your favorite celebration and why? Mm. Christmas. Christmas, why? Because my my family is together. Maybe. Uh -huh, your family gets together. Okay, for example, what do you do in Christmas? Well, sometimes... Um, have, I don't know, uh, to dance. To dance. To dance. Uh -huh. um, how do you say decorate? Decorate. Decorate with clothes. <laughs> how do you mean the... My mom de decorate. You decorate, with... you decorate your house. Yes. Can you put up a Christmas tree? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, that's good. Okay, Jesus, how about you? What's your favorite celebration and why? New Year. New Year's. New Year's New Eve Year. or New Year's Day? New Year's Day. Day. Why? Because um, all my family, uh, is together uh -huh. we mm -hmm, chicken sometimes uh, chicken okay <laughs> um, other persons come to my house uh, do you mean like your neighbors uh, yes or friends um, neighbors, friends, and uh, sometimes we give um, 
How do you say regalo? Ah, uh, you open your gifts. Yes. Sometimes for children. For the children. Okay, that's nice. So it's like a big celebration for your family. <laughs> Not much. No, but it's good. I think the good thing is yeah, that yeah, yeah. you get together yeah. with your family and the people that yeah. you love. That's the important thing. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Abby, what is what is your answer for this question? Abby, what's your favorite celebration and why? Uh, first, hello, everybody. <laughs> hello, <Hi>. Abby. <laughs> Uh, and my favorite celebration is uh, Christmas. Christmas. And New Year of all the celebrations in in December. In December. <laughs> yes, I, I love December. So your favorite so, month is December. Yes. <laughs> so okay, you mentioned Christmas. Uh, Christmas. What's why Christmas is your favorite celebration? Hmm, because I like to uh, stay with my family and friends. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like to see family from other states, from oh. other uh, countries. They come to Acapulco. Yes. So that's really good. Yes, that's nice. And, and Yes. And you mentioned also New Year's Eve? Yes. Uh, why New Year's Eve? Because it's a new year. It's a, a, new, a new opportunity mm -hmm. uh, 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 do another else, mm -hmm. do something else in your life. So, yes, that's right. The start from, for me. Yes, yes, that's nice. I agree with you. Okay, so let's see, Mauricio. Welcome back, Mauricio. How are you? Are you here, Mauricio? Let's see. Yes. Ooh, do you still have problems with the microphone, Mauricio? Can you speak or not? Okay, well, let's see. Mm. Well, no problem, Mauricio. Uh, anyways, during the class, you can use the chat to type your responses. Okay, Mauricio? No problem. Okay, welcome back. So let's go to the student book. Okay, we have the unit four. It's about celebrations, as you already know. Uh, we were talking about celebrations. You were talking about your favorite ones, and you said why. So here we have the learning objective. It says in unit four, you learn how to. Damaris, can you read the learning objectives, please? In unit four, you learn how to use going to um, the present continuous to talk about the future, use indirect ob object pronouns. Talk about birthdays, celebrations, and favorite holidays. Use back. Day. Day? Day. Uh -huh. Make expression like in everything. Give vague responses like maybe and it depends. It depends. Okay. Excellent. Well, as I said before, we want to start uh, this unit using going to, to talk about future events. Well, it's about celebrations. Here we have some pictures. I mean, four pictures. And there is a part that says before you begin, which of these special events are the people celebrating? And we have a graduation, a wedding, the birth of a baby, an engagement, a retirement, and a wedding anniversary. 
we have six ideas. So let's look at picture number one. What's the celebration or what's the event for picture one? Uh, a graduation. A graduation. Okay. Correct. Number two. Uh, retirement. A retirement. Yes, it's a retirement. Uh, picture three. A wedding. Ah, wedding. Wedding. Yes, it's wedding. a wedding. And picture four. Um, the birth of a baby. The birth of a baby. Okay. Then we have a question. What other special days do people celebrate? Okay, so these are some celebrations that, well, we don't need a special day. I mean, like Valentine's Day, Christmas, and everything. Okay, it could be any time of the year. An engagement, a graduation, a wedding, a retirement, etc. Uh, can you think of any other celebrations that we can have? Day of Taco. Which one? Day of Taco. Oh, I can hear you. <laughs> can you repeat again, please? Day of Taco. <laughs> taco Day. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, but when is it, Damaris? Huh? When <laughs> is it? I don't know. <laughs> I have heard about that, that celebration, but I don't remember the month. Do you know? No. Oh, guys, Jesus, Abby, Mauricio, when do mm, we celebrate the taco, taco day? <laughs> I don't know because for me it is all, all the days. It's every day? Yes, it's every day. But there is a day. I don't know if last year or two years ago the celebration was at the Papagayo Park. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Uh -huh, but I, don't, I, don't remember, I don't remember the, the month. I mean, I don't remember the exact day. But yes, there is a taco day. <laughs> okay, another celebration that you know or you remember? Mm. There are many. Mm. And there are some celebrations that are very popular here in Mexico. Ceviches Day. Ceviches Day. <laughs> uh, yes, I guess there is one day for ceviche. Uh -huh. Another? Set Day, I don't know what. Which one? Was Dia yeah, de los muertos. Dia de los muertos, ¿no? Ajá, Dia de los muertos. Dia de los muertos. ¿Which one, Jesús? Women's Day. Ah, yes, Women's Day. Es Uh, day. Family Day? Yes, that's right. Mauricio, when is it, Mauricio? For example, here in Mexico, there is a celebration that is very like special and it's very popular. Uh, do you know, have you heard about uh, Quinceañera party. Mm. Ah, sí. Ah, sí. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Abby, did you have a party when you turned 15? Yes. Yeah. Like a big party, Abby. Yes, yes, big party. Oh. So much. Why? <laughs> Why? You're right, Mauricio, in December. Sí, se chamberán. Oh, sí. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And what color was your dress, Abby? Um, purple. Purple? I, yes, I love purple. Oh, that's really new. Nice. How about you, Damaris? My dress is blue. You have a party? Yes. A big party, too? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Maris. Yes. Yes. Uh, what color was your dress? 
Blue. Blue? Yes. That's good. I remember mine was pink. Pink. Pink, yes. Um. Okay, well. So let's begin. We're talking about celebrations. And I remember that you mentioned birthdays at the beginning of the class. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Damaris, when is your birthday? Um, my birthday is April 10th. Is when? April 10th. April 10th? Yes. Let me write down something. So you said that your your birthday is in April. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned that it's on April 10th? 10th. 10th. Well. Okay, so your birthday is in April or we can say on April 10th, okay. Um, Jesus, when is your birthday? My birthday is on July 31st. July? Yes, 31st. So it's coming. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> July 31st. Abby, how about you? Mm, my birthday is um, May 4th. On May 4th. Oh, it was last month. Yes. Okay. And how about you, Mauricio? When is your birthday? Okay, let me see. Answer August. Oh, your birthday is coming too, August. Ooh, yes. So first it's gonna be Jesus birthday and then Mauricio's birthday. Well, just very fast, pay attention here. I have the question, when is your birthday? And I have two answers. Uh, my birthday is in April or my birthday is on April 10th. When you mention only the month, like in our first example, we're going to use a preposition, in. My birthday is in April, in March, in December, in October, etc. We're going to use the preposition in because we are mentioning just the month. When you mention the month and the day, we're going to use the preposition on. My birthday is on April 10th. So that is the difference. Remember, once again, if you mention only the month, we're going to use the preposition in. If you mention the month and the day, we're going to use a preposition on, okay? That is the only difference. And if you pay attention uh, to the second answer, we are using an ordinal number. Here we're seeing April 10th. Maybe you know the ordinal numbers when we say like first, second, third, fourth, etc. So we're going to use the ordinal numbers to talk about dates. Uh, we're going to learn about them just in a moment. So let's continue with the book. We're going to start with the lesson A. In lesson A, we're going to see the months of the year and we're going to see the days of the month. Okay, lesson A, it's called birthdays. So we have here a chart on the right side. We have months and days of the month. As you can see, once again, when you mention the days of the month, we're going to use ordinal numbers, okay? Like third, second, third, fourth, etc. So the first activity we're going to do is, I'm gonna play the audio and you're gonna listen to the vocabulary. So I want you to listen and repeat at the same time. We're going to start with the months 
and then we're going to continue with the days of the month. Okay? Okay. So let me look for the audio. So you're going to listen and repeat. Did you listen? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay, so once again, the question. Let's begin with Tamaris. Tamaris, when is your birthday? Mm, my birthday is on April 10th. 10th, okay, Jesus? My birthday is on July 31st. 31st, okay. Abby? My birthday is on May 4th. 4th. And Mauricio, when well, you cannot speak, but you can type. Mauricio, your answer. When is your birthday? Let 
me see Mauricio's answer. Okay, you only need to add the preposition, Mauricio. On. August. Remember to use the preposition. This case is on, on August. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. Okay, we were talking about some celebrations. Uh, you mentioned Father's Day, Christmas, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, uh, Valentine's Day, Day of the Dead. So I'm gonna write it down here so we can remember. So we were talking about Mother's Day. We have Father's Day. Uh, let's think about children. We have Children's Day. Uh, you mentioned Day of Day of the Dead, you mentioned Valentine's Day, we have Christmas, we have New Year's Eve, and we have New Year's Day. So we have some. Do you know the difference between New Year's Eve and New Year's Day? Do you know the difference? Amari says no. How about you, Jesus, Abby, Mauricio? Do you know the difference between New Year's Eve and New Year's Day? No? No. <laughs> okay, New Year's Eve. Wait, if is like a short way to say if mean. So New Year's Eve is on December 31st. New Year's Day is on January 1st. So New Year's Day is the first day of the year, January 1st. And New Year's Eve is the last day of the year, December 31st. So that is the difference, okay? Now we're going to ask this question. When do people celebrate, an example, when do people celebrate Mother's Day? And you're going to answer, people celebrate Mother's Day in, remember, when we had the preposition in, we're going to mention only the month. When we had the preposition on, we're going to mention the month and the day. So once again, uh, for example, Jesus, when do people celebrate Mother's Day? Um, people celebrate Mother's Day in May. Okay, in May. And the second answer? People celebrate Mother's Day on May 10th. And excellent, on May 10th. Okay, we have it's like this. So that's what we're going to do. Now, Jesus, ask a question to Abby, please. The same question. Yeah, another, you have more celebrations. I have the same question. When do people celebrate and another celebration? Abby, when do people celebrate Father's Day? People celebrate Father's Day in June. Huh? celebrate Father's Day on June this year. Uh, 21st. On June what? 21st. 21st, correct. Okay, any question to Mauricio, please? Mm, when do people celebrate Children's Day? Yeah, you can type your answer, Mauricio. Children's Day.
let me see. That's it. Uh -huh. In April, and the second answer, Mauricio, try to use on. Thank you, Mauricio. Okay, so once again, Damaris. Uh, when do people celebrate Valentine's Day? People celebrate Valentine's Valentine Day in February. In February? And people celebrate Valentine's Day on February. 14. Okay, Damaris, question to Jesus, please. Okay. When do people celebrate the Day of the Dead? Day of the Dead. Huh? Um, people celebrate Day of the Dead in November. Uh -huh. People celebrate Day of the Dead. On first, uh, second, and third November. <laughs> on November first, second, and third. Aha, uh -huh, on November first, I guess. Yes, on November first. Excellent. Jesus, question to Abby. Abby, when do people celebrate um, Christmas? Uh, people celebrate Christmas in December. Mm -hmm. People celebrate Christmas on December. <coughs> sorry, December twenty fifth. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, do you have any questions about this, guys? No. No. Okay. Well. Continue with the lesson A, now with the student book. Okay, well, here we want to listen to a conversation between Alicia and Dave. So here it says, letter B, listen. What gifts are Alicia and Dave going to buy and practice the conversation? Okay, well, I'm going to play the audio, listen to it, and follow the conversation in your books, please. something special, like a necklace. Then it's mom and dad's anniversary on the 10th. Right. We'll give them something. I want to send them some flowers. Okay. And it's my birthday on the 23rd. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get you Okay, so first of all, tell me, what are they going to celebrate this month? Birthday. Birthday. Whose birthday? Their mother. Yes, their mom's birthday. Another celebration? Um, sorry. Uh, anniversary. Anniversary? Yes, we're anniversary. And there is another one. Dave's birthday? Yes, Dave's birthday. Okay, so let's see. When is their mom's birthday? Mm. 
the first? Yes, on the first. Uh, when is their parents anniversary? Ten. On the ten. And when is Dave's birthday? Twenty-third. Twenty-third. Okay, twenty-third. Excellent. But now let's practice the conversation. Uh, let's see what Abby, you're going to be Alicia and Jesus, you're going to be Dave. Okay, so let's do the reading, please. One, two, three. It's mom's birthday on the first, remember? She's going to be 50. 50, uh-huh. Oh, that's right. What are you going to get her? I'm going to buy her something special, like a necklace. Then it's mom and dad's anniversary on the thing. Right. We usually give them something. We? You mean I do? Let's um, send them some flowers. Okay, then it's my birthday on 23rd. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get you the same thing you got me. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, as you can see here, um, they are using this structure. Going to. Going to. Okay. So, we are going to use going to to talk about future activities, okay? We're going to use going to, but if you pay attention, before going to, we're going to use the verb be, like I'm, your, is, she's, we're, etc. Let me use that. For example, here. It's like time. Your is she's is it's like this. Okay, so this is structure for going to. First of all, we're going to use, well, a subject. In this case, I'm using personal pronouns with verb be. I'm, your, his, she's, it's, we are there. Then we're going to use going to. We're going to use going to to say that we are talking about the future. And after that, we're going to use a verb in simple form. Eat, watch, play, study, meet. Etc. For example, I'm going to eat after class. When I say after class, I'm talking about the future because right now I'm here with you giving a class. So after the class, it's future. You're going to watch TV tonight, for example. If I say tonight, I'm thinking about the future. Yes, because it's already the afternoon. Uh, he's going to play soccer next Sunday. When I'm saying next Sunday, one more time, I'm talking about the future. So we can use time expressions like tonight, tomorrow, next Sunday, next week, next year, etc. So as you can see here, we're going to use, once again, pay attention, the verb be, going to, and the verb in simple form. Now, 
a simple question. What Okay, here I have three questions. One, what are you going to do after class? Two, what are you going to eat tonight? And three, what are you going to do tomorrow morning? For example, number one, what are you going to do after class? In my case, I'm going to watch TV with my daughter after class. So how about you, Damaris? Um, I'm going to eat with my mom and my grandmother. You're going to eat after class? Yes. So you haven't eaten. I'm going to accept that. Okay, Damaris, continue. The same question to Jesus, please. Um, what are you going to do after class? Um, I'm going to go at the movies with my girlfriend. Are you going to the movies after class, Jesus? Oh, yeah, yeah. The mm -hmm. movie theater is closed. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you going, Jesus? I'm going to go to the beach. Really, Jesus? Yes. In the Ay. morning. It is. <laughs> You're seeing after class. Okay, Jesus, the same question to Abby, please. Abby, what are you going to do after class? Well, I'm going to do the laundry. Really, Abby? Yes. Oh, yeah, Abby. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you, you can do it on weekend, Abby. Oh, no, I need clothes, clean, clean clothes. So you have to do it today? Yes. Mm. Okay, Abby, let's see. Question two. Well, Mauricio is not here, he left. Okay, Abby, second question to Damaris, please. Okay, Damaris, what are you going to eat tonight? Um, I'm going to eat um, maybe a meal with you're going to eat what? Milk. Just milk? Yes. Uh, do you mean yes. cereal with milk? Maybe cereal with milk. Something light. <laughs> okay, Damari, same question to Jesus. What are you going to eat tonight? Um, tacos. Are you going to eat tacos? Tacos. Really? Do you mean like chicken tacos? Pastor? Um, pastor. I hope pastor. So. <laughs> okay, continue Jesus to Abby. Abby, what are you going to eat tonight? Mm, I guess I'm going to eat eggs a la mexicana. Uh, Mexican. <laughs> 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 okay, well, they are delicious. Yeah. Okay, continue, Abby. Question three to Damaris. Damaris, what are you going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow morning. Okay, tomorrow morning. In the morning, I'm going to work. Oh, yes, you're working. Mm. Okay, continue, Damaris, to Jesus. What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Um, I'm going to wash my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue to Abby, please. Abby, what are you going to do tomorrow morning? I go to work. I'm going to work. Hi, you are busy. You're <laughs> always busy, all of you. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, any question about this? No. No, teacher. Okay, so remember, we're using going to to talk about future events. Well, let's move to the book. We were with the lesson A. Okay, here in exercise C, it says, can you complete the answer to the question and practice with a partner? The question is, what are you going to do for your next birthday? I think I'm, so complete the answer, please. What are you going to do for your next birthday? Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's begin with uh, Damaris. What are you going to do for your next birthday? Um, I think I'm going to go eat with my friends. You're going to eat out? Eat out. Eat out. With your friends? Yes. Okay, that's good. How about you, Jesus? Um, I think I'm going to eat pizza if the quarantine already finished. No, okay, that's nice. And Abby? Mm, I think I'm going to, to the movie theater with my family. Okay, nice too. Okay, thank you, guys. Well. Let's continue with the exercise two. We have the grammar chart. This is the future with going to, and we have indirect objects. Okay, on the first column, well, we have some sentences using going to. We have an information question, and we have a yes, no question. I'm gonna read the sentences, and I want you to repeat after me, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, let's repeat after me, please. Let's begin. I'm going to buy something special. I'm going to I'm buy going to something special. special. Okay. You're going to get a present. You're going to get a present. She's going to be 50. She's going to be 50. We're going to send some flowers. We're going to send some flowers. They are going to have a party. They are going to have a party. What are you going to do for your birthday? What are you going to do for your birthday? I'm not going to do anything special. I'm, I'm not, not going, going to do anything special. Are you going to have a party? Are you, are going, you to going to have a party? Yes, we are. We're going to invite all our friends. Yes, yes. we are. We're, We're going, going to meet all our friends. No, we are not. We're not going to do much. No, we're not. We're, we're not. not. Much. Okay, let's continue with the second column. It says indirect objects and indirect object pronouns. Once again, let's repeat after me, please. I'm going to buy my mother something special. I'm going to buy my mother 
Alicia isn't going to give Dave anything. Alicia isn't going to give Dave anything. Okay. Send mom and dad some flowers. Let's send mom Let's and dad some flowers. Well, the second part, we have the indirect object pronouns. Maybe you remember this. Uh, we saw the object pronouns in unit two when we were talking about music. We were me, you, him, her, us, and them. If you pay attention here, we have the same information that we have above. What we are doing, we're only substituting some words with the object pronouns. Let's pay attention. The statement number one above says, I'm going to buy my mother something special. And below, instead of saying my mother, we're going to use an object pronoun. I'm going to buy her something special. We are using it here because when we are having a conversation, well in this case we understand that we're talking about my mother. I'm going to buy her something special. Number two, above. It says Alicia isn't going to give Dave anything. Here we have the name of the person, Dave. Now in the second example, we're going to change Dave for an object pronoun. Alicia isn't going to give him anything. We're using him because Dave, well, it's a man, okay? Then example number three, let's send mom and dad some flowers. It's gonna be the same. Let's send them some flowers. Okay, do you understand this part? Yes. Okay, we're only changing. Let's send them some flowers. Okay, before doing the exercise, okay, uh, let's see. What I want you to do now, guys, uh, over there at home, if you have your notebooks or on a piece of paper, I want you to write down three sentences, uh, three sentences saying, what are you going to do next weekend? Okay, so that is the question. What are you going to do next weekend? And write down three sentences. Okay, so let's do it, please. What are you going to do next weekend? Three sentences, please. Um, we have to use indirect object pronouns? No. Just oh, okay. what are you going to do next week? Okay. Or if you're going to do something for another person, maybe you can introduce the object pronouns, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher.
Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, this time let's begin with the with the only boy here in the classroom because I always start with the girls. Let's begin with the boy. Okay, so okay, so what are you going to do next weekend? <laughs> Okay, okay, it's okay. Um, I'm going to play soccer with my child the next Monday. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to buy a pizza the next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, huh? Wednesday. I'm going to eat shrimp the next Thursday. Next Thursday, okay. Okay, Jesus, well, it's not necessary to use that. Only say next. I'm going to, for example, I'm going to play soccer next Monday, and that's it. Okay. okay. Don't use the article that. It's not necessary. It's correct. Thank okay. you, Jesus. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Yes? Okay, Abby, how about you? Mm, I'm going to watch movies with my sister yeah. next Saturday. Uh -huh. I'm going to clean my house and then I'm going to do the, su the supermarket. Go to the supermarket? Go to the supermarket uh, on Sunday. On Sunday. And I'm going to read and listen to some music. Perfect. Thank you. And Damaris, how about you? And I'm going to eat out with my mom on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy my boyfriend something special yes and i'm going to i'm going to work yes um, you're going to work on weekends yes oh that matters <laughs> okay well you have to do it thank you guys yes. now let's do the exercise a it says complete the question using going to then write your own answers using indirect object pronouns when necessary. So first of all, remember, you're going to complete the questions using going to. And then well, we don't have enough space here on this part. So what you want to do, you're going to write down your answers on a piece of paper, okay? On a separate piece of paper. And remember, you need to use indirect object pronouns if necessary for your responses. Yes, do you understand? Complete the questions here in the book and the answers on a separate piece of paper, please. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you like three minutes. Okay, so let's do it, please.
Are you ready? No. No? Okay. Okay, ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, Abby, Damaris. Okay, yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, question number one, Damaris to Jesus, please. Are you to do anything special for your next birthday? Uh, well, not really. Maybe I'm going to eat free. Oh, I like your answer. Thank you, Jesus. Question two, Jesus, uh, to Abby. Uh, question two, are you going to invite your friends over for a party? Yes. Yes, I, I am. Uh -huh. Yes. I'm going to invite my friend. Uh, remember that you can use object pronouns. Instead of saying my friends, you can use an object pronouns. I'm going to invite them. 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 Excellent. I'm going to invite them. Uh -huh, I'm going to invite them. Uh, over party? Over for a party? Over for a party. Yes, correct, Abby. Uh, question three, Abby, to Damaris. Uh, uh, is someone going to bake your birthday cake? Mm. Yes, maybe. 
maybe my my mom. Mm -hmm. okay. My mom. My mom her. Her way. Okay, one more time. In future, my mom. My mom going to bed. My mom is. My mom is going to. Going to. Going to bed. Bake. My birthday. Okay, it's going to bake. Me. Me. Mm -hmm. okay. It's going to bake me mm -hmm. a birthday cake. Okay, let's continue, Damaris. Question four to Jesus, please. Okay. And what do parents going to buy this Sunday night? Question four. Yes. Okay, yes. Um, well, I don't know. I think they, they are going to buy something special for me. For me? Okay, correct. Um, question five, Jesus, to Abby. Abby, how old are your parents going to be on their next birthday? They're going to be... They're going to be... Um, 52. Uh, can you repeat again, please? They are going to be? 52. Both? Yes. Okay. On their next? Uh, the Maris? No, I mean try to complete the answer. They are going to be 52 on? Oh, they are going to be 52 on their next birthday. Excellent. Now, the last question, please, Abby, to the Maris. What are you going to give your father for his birthday? Well, my father is not here, but uh, about my mom, mm -hmm. I'm going to give maybe a bracelet or back. Okay, I'm going to give, give her. Her, uh huh. Bracelet. Back. Okay, and how about your best friend? Um, maybe. What are you going to give your best friend? Um, I'm going to buy her um, t-shirt or dress. Okay. Well, let's see, guys, if we don't have enough time. Uh, we're going to stop here with this exercise. Uh, we're going to continue tomorrow. Well, as you can see, today we started with the Unit 4. Unit 4 is called Celebrations. Uh, we were talking about some celebrations uh, here in Mexico, uh, celebrations around the world. Uh, we practice with the months of the year, I mean, given dates. We were practicing with this question, when is your birthday? And you were mentioning the month and the date. Remember when we use the preposition in, we're going to mention only the month. When we use the preposition on, we're going to mention the month and the day. So let's review very fast. Damaris, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April 10th. Okay, okay, correct. And as you can see, we also review the object pronouns, me, you, him, her, us, them. And we started using going to, to talk about the future. Do you have questions about the lesson A, guys? Before you leave, 
No, teacher. Well, your homework is going to be pages 26 and 27 in your workbook. Okay. Page 26, 27, lesson A in your workbook. What is your homework? Okay. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for your participation and your enthusiasm. Okay, I really like it. So take care, please, guys. Stay at home. Yeah. Study, do your homework, and see you tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Take care, please.